my health condition is COPD. When I have bad attacks, I usually have to go into hospital. I don't sleep when I'm in a hospital. I don't eat properly in a hospital. It gets you stressed to go into a hospital, so you put it off and put it off. The day I saw Mrs Deacon, she was really quite unwell and we wouldn't have had a choice but to admit her to hospital. She was very breathless and her oxygen levels were low and she's a lady who doesn't ask for house calls and doesn't ever want to go to hospital but she was unwell enough to, for her to agree immediately that hospital was the only option. I saw her at lunchtime, I was asked if hospital at home would be an option, I wasn't entirely sure because I hadn't used it before. I said well maybe but um, she is really quite unwell and I was reassured the team would be out to see her within an hour. When the senior nurse came the first day, she gave me a full check over, just as they do at hospital. It was done in a shorter time, um, and she, she reassured me that the condition I'd told her was what was happening with me, and she could treat it at home. And if I felt all right about that, she would go ahead and get the treatment started, which she did right away. By a couple of hours later, I'd had a phone call from the lead nurse who told me that the patient was feeling much better, that the consultant had seen her, that she'd had oxygen provided and when I phoned Mrs Deacon at the end of the afternoon surgery she was she sounded much much better and was delighted still to be at home. On the second day another consultant came and then for five days running a nurse came every single day until I was off oxygen and breathing properly. I'm usually in about 10 days in a hospital and then I have to recuperate at home. I was back on my feet in five days here and I was fine after that. I live very independently at the moment. But I know as this illness progresses, there is a time I might need a care package to come into effect for me. And it's reassuring to know that if I've got a hospital at home, it wouldn't interfere with my care package. That could still carry on. Whereas if I was in hospital, it would stop and I would need to get it reinstated. So that is a big plus for a hospital at home as well. I think the service office a very comprehensive team with fast assessment by very experienced nurses with the input of a consultant and resources that aren't immediately accessible to us as GPs which might not be terribly high tech but which will be enough to ensure the patient can be looked after safely at home. Lots of elderly patients in similar circumstances would be relieved not to have to go to hospital. I would have no hesitation in recommending this service to both doctors and patients and I'll certainly use it again in similar circumstances.